Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to use a metahuman as your third person character inside Unreal Engine 5. Open Unreal Engine 5, create a blank third person project and name it the name that you require. Once Unreal Engine 5 is open, open Quixel Bridge, go to MetaHumans and choose a MetaHuman. In my case, I've already downloaded a MetaHuman and I'm now going to export that to my project. Once the MetaHuman has been added to your project, enable all the missing settings and plugins and restart the engine. With the engine restarted, you can now close Bridge. You now have a MetaHuman in your project, in content, MetaHumans, and in my case, George. To avoid damage to your MetaHuman Actor Blueprint, we're going to duplicate it. Rename this new Blueprint, in my case, BP George Third Person, and open it up. Go to Class Settings, and in parent class, find BP third person character. Hit compile. Next, select body and drag that on top of mesh. It should now be parented to mesh. Again, hit compile. You can now delete this extra root at the bottom. In the viewport, this is what we have now. Select body and in location, reset to default and in rotation, set to default. Next, come down to variables, find retarget mode enabled, come over to the default value, check and compile. As you can see, our MetaHuman is now animated. Next, go to Mesh, type Visible, uncheck Visible, type Viz, find Advanced and visibility based on anim tick option and select always tick pose and refresh bones. Hit compile and save. Ensure that your capsule actually does match your metahuman. In this case, I think we're okay. You now can close that blueprint. Go to content, third person, Blueprints and open up BP third person game mode. In default pawn class, choose our BP George third person blueprint, compile and save, and hit play. And that's it. You now have a metahuman as your third person character. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help. I'll see you in the next one.